What's up guys, this is Stra coming at you with another Smite gameplay and today we're gonna play Assault um, For those of you who don't know this game mode, this is where you have 5 versus 5 player on one single lane, there's no jungle camp, there's 2 turret for each side, one, um, 1 phoenix for each side and 1 titan for each side and you can only buy when you're in the fountain you can only buy your stuff when you're in the fountain and the moment you leave the fountain you cannot get back in and the only way you can get back in is if you die <laughs> so and also you cannot pick your character this is all random every player in this game get a randomized character you can trade with the other people but you cannot pick your own character um for me I am at a disadvantage because I got, you know, I paid the money to have every single character unlocked from between now and for the rest of my lifetime. So, the chance of me getting a champion, I, I, a god I don't know how to play is very, very high and usually that's what happened. So my strategy, my, pa my strategy for being a passable player in this game mode is to buy a lot of aura items that would support my cat. Uh, let's. See. Oh, I got Freya. That's not bad. You're looking at the Grand Slam champ. Freya. You're looking at the Grand. Okay, we got all squishy character, which You're is not very good. <laughs> I would prefer we don't, but this is what we got to deal with. We have two mage, three mage, four mage, and one assassin. Oh boy. We do have a lot of pork compared to the other team. But they have a tank. They have a much better team comp. Than we ha they have a mage, they have an ADC, they have a tank. Um, actually, two mage and one assassin. Well, one bruiser. So their team comp seems to be a lot better than us. And we have to be very careful about Bacchus because he dominate in this lane mode. Mainly because the lane is so narrow that when he do a body slam it's a lot harder to dodge his body slam. And he usually can hit everyone with his ult. Um, the problem with Kali in this game mode is that once she pop her, um, if she go real low health and she pop her ultimate to, um, to survive. Even if she survive that she still have low health. Luckily, she can heal, and that's what I'm counting on is that she's gonna heal herself enough to um, to stay in the battle after her ult. Now, this is Freya, and as I mentioned before, I like to do a no boots build with her. So I'm gonna start off with this. Can't buy anything else. Um, I love carrying meditation in this game mode because I can just keep healing my teammate and myself, and give us a little bit of success. And as you can see, if you guys have not played this game mode, this is the fountain, and there's a ledge. Once you get off, you can't get back on, and even if you jump, you can't get back on, and that's where you're at. And even if you stand near it, you won't get any healing. So we are off. Let's see, let's review her, um, her spell. It's been a while since I played her. Her passive give her life steal, which I love life steal. In this game mode, you can sustain yourself life steal. It's amazing. Irradiate is make her basic attack deal additional damage, but she have a melee attack. So if you combine it with pulse, you got a range powerful attack. But pulse when combined with with pulse, pulse lost the slow and um the slow. And you do want to slow. The slow make a huge difference. You can keep enemy at range while you you hammer them with the 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 axe. So it's really depend on what you do. Your O make the enemy pop like that.
Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh. That wasn't even close. All right, let me heal up of some this. Nope. You guys not gonna get me heal up? Okay. Ooh, that was so close. I thought I was gonna die there. I hate being first blood for this. It's mainly for the ego part, <laughs> but nothing else really. Oh gosh, it's gonna hurt. If he belly bop right in here right now, I would die. But he's a little bit of a uh, pussy. <laughs> oh good, I'm not... Um... Wow, that's a terrible ult. You don't just ult like that, people will just dodge it. You need, to... you need people to be occupied with fighting someone when you ult. But we have no... Um... We have no tank to just go in. So, Oh, they have healing too. That's bad, that's bad. That is bad. I walk right into the um, Kronos, uh, Kronos um, building. That's okay. Now I can buy something. Even though we are three men down. <laughs> this is not looking good, guys. Mainly because we ha they have Bacchus and they have Rog that can heal them. We have no heal healing. We have no, no support or anyone that can heal us. This gives them a huge advantage because we had to go all in. If it becomes a skirmish, there's a very high chance that they can just keep healing themselves and come back to normal. And that is exactly what they are doing. We need to farm up and whenever we go in, we go all in and we kill all of them. Awesome. That's good. Luckily, Rav can, can, cannot uh, heal as much right now. Oh man, that was a good ult, but poorly angled. Just want to jump in and maybe get what kill out of it. I'm just gonna heal up both of us. Three of us. And in this game mode, there is no um... You can't use some of the stuff. Nope, I can't do anything about that. Um, there's some item that you cannot buy. Most notably the um, Warlock Shash, which is my favorite item. <laughs> um, but let's see if I can go a little bit more tanky. Just so we have like a tank going on, you know. <laughs> I think I'm get this. <clears throat> this is gonna be my only tanky item. 
And then the rest of my item can be damaged. This combined with the rod that gives me a little bit of health should um, provide some protection. Oh, I took too long in the... Um... Double kill. I didn't know I got a kill before. Oh no, I don't know why I did that. That was a waste of mana. But getting the tanky item will make me behind in my uh, damage And I might need more damage than this Ra gonna try and ult Nope. They just gonna kill me without holding anyway. <laughs> I wanna get this. I'm gonna get this instead. The cooldown reduction will help. I will also get this. I think I'm gonna just leave this item just like this and go for more damage. I really could use the damage right now. I'm gonna buy the demon grip just for a little magic resist, um, magic pen. Which is extremely useful because my axe is considered melee that, uh, um, rock. That ability really, really well. Uh oh. Oh no. Well, I think this is it. <laughs> no. Nope, nope, nope. Yeah, this is, um, we just been handed with a really bad team comp. Their team comp is much, much better than us. So, there's not much we can do. Especially when they have a, a caster that can heal them early game and can keep the success enough so they can pop up for a couple kills. Um, as far as I understand, most of our... I think all of our players seem to be a decent player. So yeah, sometimes you just dealt a really bad hand. Um, but it was fun either way to uh, finally get back on my uh, <laughs> free uh, um, character. Um, by far one of my favorite things about her is her passive. Just like, <laughs> I guess just like how my favorite thing about um, um, the, the demon guy is his passive. But that was a decent game. <laughs> I was a passable play passable player in that game and that's all that matters. <laughs> also got that works close. Oh that works close is um an achievement I think when you out and you just barely 
get up in the air without uh, dying with a little bit of health. Um, Freya have like a half a second between taking off and being in the air. During that half second of flying and ascending, she can still be damaged and she still can still be killed. But she cannot get CC or interrupt. So let's see here, I did not, <laughs> I died more than most people, um, earn a decent amount of gold. Freya does have a very nice clearing time if she uses her extra clearing. The problem is that she does use a lot of mana, and once her deck exits on cooldown, she essentially have no aggressive gameplay unless her opponent is a, a melee opponent. And then you can just use your square for that. My goal per minute is not shabby at all. Um, probably because I deal the most damage. Mm, yeah, the most damage to minion except for Cuckoo Khan. But again, Cuckoo Khan is a clearing champ uh, character. It's it's really hard for you not to out to be able to out clear the wave against Cuckoo Khan. Um, took the most damage then again I died more than other people we did not do any structure damage we did not even get close to the oh my gosh that's terrible um, so yeah that's that's a thought for those that don't know this game mode 